Hi, this is Ahmed Patel with Emerson, and I'm the marketing manager for digital transformation for our fluid control and pneumatics business. And in this conversation series, we'll aim to demystify, define, and execute practical ways to approach digital transformation through the devices, the solutions, and the analytics that can unlock ways to improve areas around production, energy and emissions, reliability, safety across our discrete, industrial, and process manufacturing. For this episode, we'll actually discuss how TopWorks is helping customers navigate the world of digital transformation within process and hydrocarbon. Users today have the capability to generate large pools of data. The key is really trying to understand what are the right data sets to solve areas around safety, production, sustainability, and reliability. And to help us understand more about the challenges today, we have Jason Maderick from TopWorks. Hello, Amit. Thank you for inviting me today. I'm Jason Maderick, Global Marketing Director for TopWorks. Digital transformation is more and more relevant every day. Today, our customers are challenged to ensure that information about their process is accurate and available to the entire organization. At TopWorks, we're helping customers utilize that information to avoid upset conditions and unplanned downtime while optimizing their production. Most importantly, we're helping accomplish these outcomes while keeping people safe. I think this is really where Emerson can step in. So Jason, what are some technologies you guys are delivering to the industry that really help solve the challenges that you mentioned? For nearly two decades, the TopWorks DX series has been the industry standard discrete valve controller. For those of you who may not know, a discrete valve controller acts as the brain for process valves. The DX series signals your valve to open or close and then responds back to the control center to confirm the current position of the valve. With the launch of the TopWorks Predictive Valve Maintenance Solutions, we are accelerating our customers' digital transformation journey. Now the DX series can track critical factors in the health of your valve and alert before maintenance is needed. This helps maximize uptime. We deliver these solutions in a variety of communication protocols, including Heart7 and Foundation Field Bus. I agree, Jason. Maintaining uptime is critical. The costs associated with unplanned downtime can be significant, reaching upwards of a million dollars a day. I've seen some industry reports suggest that facilities can actually experience an average of 27 days of unplanned downtime in a year. As users are moving more towards uh, a proactive and now a more predictive maintenance strategy, what kind of analytics can be captured from the discrete device controller in terms of insights? I've seen that same information, Amit, and we both know how costly unplanned downtime can be for these facilities. That is why our predictive valve maintenance solutions focus on enabling customers to move from a run to failure strategy. For example, the DX series with Heart7 will track the time it takes a valve to move from one position to another, how long the valve sits in one position, and counts the number of cycles the valve has made. This information is compared to user configurable set points. When the valve performance does not meet these expectations, the device will send an alert. That's important, Jason. As we said earlier, creating the right data is the first step. And as users look for more data-driven based decision-making, understanding how and where users are able to interpret this information is the next important step. So how can a user visualize information coming from a discrete valve controller? That is exactly right, Amit. We didn't want alerts to be the only way users can interact with information that we capture. That's why we created dashboards for users to monitor the status of their process valves. Users can see these dashboards in their control room so they don't have to take a trip out on the floor to perform manual inspections. Not only is this a better use of their time, but it helps keep them safe. We are always working to improve monitoring the processes remotely, so don't be surprised as we launch enhancements. Speaking of monitoring, facilities can be large in scale or located in remote areas. How easy is it to bring this data back for visualization? That is a good point. Capturing the data is important, but it's not very useful if we cannot get it off the device. We wanted to make sure our users can decide the best way to get the information back to their control system in each situation. That's why users can pick between wired or wireless options, or even a hybrid of the two methods. Thanks, Jason, and thanks to our audience for joining us. It was great to learn about how the TopWorks device controller can deliver useful insights to solve challenges around maintaining uptime and improving safety. To learn more about Emerson's fluid control solutions for process valve actuation across hydrocarbon and chemical, please visit the link below.